What's going on, you guys? This is Ultron 2. Welcome back to the Ultron 2 show. Coming to live by far over the internet. So, guys, check this out. So, I made this video. I made a video just like this, like, a long time ago. This was, like, months ago. And based on the type of video it was, it was related to gaming. And as you guys can see the title, I will be doing a video with these Galaxy Control Freaks. So, yeah. So, for those who don't know what these are, these are thumb grips for... They also have one for Xbox where they're thumb grips for your controller. Um, they're made to, like, um, enhance your gaming, enhance your aiming and movement in the game. So you can get better accuracy and comfort. And yeah, stuff like that. So yeah, and the grips are made out of, out of like a soft rubber type of material. And honestly, I totally recommend these control freaks. Um, these are like the really good control freaks that a lot of people love to use. And I did a survey to uh, well not well yeah I did a survey on the website and. The survey is basically about what type of control freaks is for you. You gotta answer some questions and you'll get your answer in the end. They'll show you like a list of control freaks that's best fitted for you. And one of the ones that came up was obviously Galaxies. So they have them in two colors, white and purple. I like the purple ones better. Um, it fixed the whole Galaxy Geta. So. Yeah, I am not sponsored by Control Freaks. Honestly, I wish I was. But in order to get sponsored by Control Freaks, you have to have like 15,000 total subscribers or followers. Nothing specific. Basically, you got to have 15,000 total subscribers or followers on throughout all your social medias combined. So let's say my Instagram had 600 followers. And my YouTube channel had like 14,000 subscribers. Basically, um, matter of fact, no. Let's say if my Instagram had 1,000 followers and my YouTube channel had like 14,000 subscribers. Basically, if you do the math, they will count that as 15,000 total followers because it's all in one place, you know. It's all in order. So... That counts. So, I mean, there are a couple of discount codes out there. I forgot Phase Clans, the, um, Control Freaks discount code. They actually did have one. So, you guys can go check that out. And some other YouTubers got some codes. So, this is not my first Control Freaks. The uh, My first pair of Control Freaks were these. These are called the Phantom Control Freaks. These are mid-rise. And I have my PS4 controller right here, too. And... I have my strike pack plugged into my control freak. Um, I'll leave the video in the description down to my strike pack video because I made a video on the strike pack. Basically, guys, if you play on PS4, definitely buy a strike pack. It's definitely way better than having a scuff controller. Huge substitute. And it will definitely benefit you a lot in games. But I use the mods. I just started using the mods in public games. Um, I use anti-recoil and rapid fire mods in the game, but I mainly use the paddles, so yeah. So these are the Phantom Control Freaks. Both both of these are mid-rise. And honestly, I need some grips for like the main um there's some dust on my controller. I need some grips for like the whole controller itself. Not the whole thing, but just like the part where you hold your hands at. So, I'll leave a link down in the description to Control Freaks, to the grips and stuff like that. So, next time I buy some grips for this control, I'm going to buy some Control Freaks because those are like the good grips to have professional. And why have Control Freak uh, thumb grips if you're not going to have the actual grips for the controller itself? So, really awesome. So, yeah. And honestly, I totally recommend... If you're going to buy control freaks, just leave them on the controller. Don't take them off. Because over time, the rubber is just going to come off. Like, the rubber is kind of... 
getting torn off a little bit on the right stick at, but yes, yeah, so I want to take these dumb grips off and put on the Galaxy ones. So, yep. And guys, when I when my gaming set was complete, I'm gonna have like my own theme. So you guys know, I have a black and white chair. I have the mask, and I love black and white. You know, that's pretty much my get. I like black. So, yeah. So, these are the Phantom Control Freaks. These are mainly used. They rec they advertise these for, like, Call of Duty Ghost. But, yeah. Both of them on their sticks because they're both the same size mid-rise. And I don't, wasn't comfortable with that. So, the Galaxy ones are high-rise and mid-rise. So, I'll use the mid-rise on the left stick. High-rise on the right stick. That's what it's for. It even shows it on the back, as you guys can see. Control Freaks are meant to custom. You, well, you can customize your grip, of course. And it says increase comfort. So, and yeah, you can actually feel it right here. There's an opening where you can actually feel it. It actually feels really comfortable. Um, there's actually more grip on the Galaxy ones than the Phantoms. Because the Phantoms, the um, grip on the Galaxy ones are like on the edge and in the center. But this is only towards the center proof accuracy, so it makes you have more movement while playing a game. So, guys, the main game I play is Call of Duty. A lot of people who use Galaxy Control Freaks, they usually, they usually advertise these to, like, Fortnite. But I don't really play Fortnite like that anymore, like I used to. Game is trash. So, yeah, Call of Duty, that's where my game is at. That's my baby. So, guys, I'm going to... Switch cameras and show you guys what it looks like on the table. Alright guys, so here are the Galaxy Control Freaks, so let's take him out of here. Alright guys, so here is one of the Galaxy Control Freaks right here. So this is mid-rise. These are actually pretty awesome guys. And this is actually the high-rise Control Freaks. This is... Uh, this is also a mid-rise, but, yeah. But the thing about it, this control freak right here looks bigger than the Galaxy ones. But, anyways, let's just put it on the controller. This time, I'm actually going to put the grip on the left stick. Every time I play Call of Duty, especially if I'm playing a game for a long time, I always have to, like, wipe my hands off, and my hands get sweaty. Especially my thumb, so I can't really play. So, oh, that actually feels better. Dust on my thing, my controller. So this actually feels much better. Here we go. So this is the Control Freaks Galaxy Control Freaks on the controller, and this feels. This honestly feels much better than the Phantom Control Freaks because the Phantom Control Freaks. Their grip was really mainly in the center, and every time I would play it, and I'm on the edge, like, I mean, there's grip on the side, but, like, it's not, like, that thick grip that I need so I can have, like, you know, that balance playing the game. But with the Galaxy ones, it's, like, on the edge, and it's literally, like, grip all over the whole controller, and it feels much better pretty awesome so guys and also i will be making a video on how to build the, the ultimate ps4 or xbox controller um i do not have an xbox one my brother does but for all you ps4 people and xbox people you could still listen up so this does apply for both so yeah so i'm gonna be making a video when i get a chance to how to build the ultimate ps4 controller without buying a scuff controller Scuff is like 150 to like $200. And I have already have some of the features on my controller. That's pretty much an ultimate PS4 controller. So, yeah. And I will be having some extra footage of me using these control freaks. So, yeah. Stay tuned for that. I am back. And we will be doing a little gameplay with the strike pack. Not strike pack, but the control freaks. So, I have my control freak set up right here. So, let's get to it. Oh, 
yes sir, that was lit. Enemy dropping into the AO. Primary LZs are marked. Extract is standing by. Alright, I'm gonna try to get this guy guy. Alright guys, so after reviewing the Galaxy Control Freaks and also doing some gameplay, I really love these Control Freaks. Definitely way better than the Phantom Control Freaks that are meant for Call of Duty Ghosts. But honestly, I feel like you could use any Control Freak with any game. But honestly, like every Control Freak is built differently, so you gotta be careful with that and use your money wisely if you're buying Control Freaks. It's definitely worth it. They sell them on their website. I'll leave the link in the description down below. So, guys, I totally recommend these Control Freaks get Galaxy. So, I rate Galaxy Control Freaks 10 out of 10. Perfect. I, I haven't had any problems with it. I have so much grip. Um, accuracy, everything is perfect. I haven't noticed anything bad about it. And, yeah, so, guys, I totally recommend these Control Freaks. This is a non-sponsored video. Uh, Control Freaks, please sponsor me. <laughs> I would appreciate that. But... Yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you guys want more content, just drop a like and comment down below. This is Ultron 2 signing out. And honestly, guys, buy, buy the control freaks. They're worth it. And this is Ultron 2 signing out.